Hi, everybody. <laughs> if I looked a little bit disheveled, I just came, I was working out and, and this subject for me is kind of, um, kind of a heavy subject, but I'm, I'm pretty honest about, not pretty honest, I'm really honest about everything else and, and I've been getting a lot of, um, questions and, and, and messages and, and people just really seeking advice because they know about my um, my lifestyle as an out lesbian. Um, and I don't know why, like I've tried to, I, I, this is my first time trying to film it and I'm not gonna edit it and it's just gonna be totally raw because it's that serious to me and, and I think it's necessary now and and I might lose some of you and, and those of you who are, who are here because you want to be here because you wanna follow me because you, you enjoy what I what I put on here and the content that I put on here will stay without judging me. And those of you who will choose to judge me based on the fact that I am a lesbian, y'all can leave and that's okay. That's okay by me. I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna challenge your beliefs. I'm not here to do that. That's not my job. They're your beliefs and, and I have mine and you have yours. And, and if you don't wanna be here because of that, then that's fine and, and I say goodbye to you and, and, and thank you for being here up till now, up till you've learned this part of my life. But as far as I'm concerned, my lifestyle has nothing to do with with my hair, which is what this channel is about. Um, but I chose to put this video out because some people have contact me have contacted me about advice and, and just how I came out, how it was and and I'm I'm more so about helping people and 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 just coming to 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 and becoming what you truly are so i'm just here to share my story my basically my coming out story and and yeah and if you want to hear it stay tuned if you don't go ahead and leave now don't even bother um i'm just gonna say right now i'm gonna leave the comment section open so if you want to go ahead and be hateful and be nasty by all means do so and let everybody see who you really are um y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know it's gonna come and i'm expecting it and uh, but i'm gonna disable the likes because i don't give a shit who likes it it's my life i don't care if you like it i've, I've always been the type of person well not always but I, I i'm the type of person now that I don't care what anybody has to say because I'm gonna live my life and this is my life to live and I'm going to live it how I see fit and and there's only one person in this world that can judge me that actually really matters well not in this world but in the sky that can judge me and and he's the only one the only one that matters nobody else's judgment of me matters to me anymore all right so let's just go ahead and get right into it I I came out for the first time when I was in high school I was 16 and, and it wasn't like a big coming out not like oh I'm, I'm queer and I'm here it wasn't like that I, I had a best friend in high school and and she was very religious she was Muslim which was fine and and we I remember we were in the village we were in a store and um, I don't know what compelled me to tell her but I I told her I said hey I'm gay I'm a lesbian and, and she looked at me with like, I don't know if it was fear. I don't know what it was that she was feeling. I can't say what she was feeling because I'm not her, but it was just like a terrorized look. And she says to me, that's fine, but don't ever say that again. And I did it. I didn't say it again until I was, I don't know what, 20, in 20, I think I didn't say it again. And I, and I dated men and it was like a big joke because I already knew who I was. And, and, uh, you know, and when you're, when you're 16, when you start realizing what it is, basically what it is that you are and what you like, you start thinking back when you were younger and uh, well, at least for me, I started thinking back when I was younger and I was attracted to women or girls and, and I didn't know what to call it because I was a little girl. I didn't know no better. I didn't know what to call it. I thought everybody felt that way. I thought everybody felt that way about women. But I, in my, you know, now that I look back, maybe my attraction was a little bit more. And and so I've I've basically known since I was little, but I didn't know what to call it. 
So like I said, I came out till I was 16 and then I kept it to myself till I was about 20 and I really fell in love with a, a woman and I was with the woman for the first time and I, it was like a relief like a weight was lifted off the me off of me like it was exactly where i was supposed to be and exactly who i was and you know and in coming out you know my family knows everybody knows but you face a lot of i hate the word haters and hate but you do face a lot of hate because this society is so I don't want to say it's so Bible driven and, and I and it's not that I don't believe in the Bible and that I don't believe in God because I do believe in God. I do believe there's a God and I, I stated that in the beginning, but there's so many people tied in their ways and, and were raised a certain way to just basically hate people in the LGBT community. And these people are very verbal and it's obvious and, 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 and it can be really, it can be really hard. And I feel even worse for when I hear about young people that are bullied in school because they decided to live out. I, I feel so horrible for the kids that feel like they can't continue living because society won't accept them. And the people around them won't accept them. And their own parents won't accept them. So if I'm doing this, I'm doing this so that you know you can live your own life and not worry about everybody else and and things will get better for us <laughs> i don't even know if i'm gonna post this <laughs> but i'm doing it for for the youth really and for the people that are confused and don't know how to come out and feel like their parents are gonna judge them the church is gonna judge them society is gonna judge them but i want you to see me and i want you to see everybody it's just we're all humans and and who I choose to love shouldn't affect anybody else I don't tell anybody else who they should love I don't judge anybody else on 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 what they do and who they should love so I, I just I want the same respect I, I, I want equality for myself for others and so this might not do anything and and it might not touch you in any way and it might disgust you about to learn this about me and that like I said that's fine you can you can you can go away you can really go away it's like if you follow me on Instagram you know whenever I post something about equality or or, or, or being gay or whatever I lose followers and that's fine that's fine that's fine because at the end of the day I'm gonna always continue to be me I'm going to continue to love who I want to love and I'm not going to care what anybody says I'm not I'm absolutely not and I, I I'm not crying because I'm like I don't know the subject is is a subject that 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 makes me very vulnerable that makes me that touches me because I don't like when when people feel like they have to live a lie to to satisfy everybody else to make everybody else happy because then you're not really living your life and um let's just get into the uh, an email that somebody a uh, girl had sent me an email and she was saying that um that she's dated guys but she's never felt right and she she's always wanted to at least had that feeling that she wanted to be with women and, and, and how she should go about it. And and basically what I say to that is, it's just because you're attracted to somebody of the same sex as you, doesn't necessarily make you gay. You might just be curious. So <laughs> for her, that's my advice. You know, um, if, you're, if, you, if you have feelings for a woman, express your feelings freely and, and whatnot. Don't, you know, let society tell you that you have to do something, that this is right and, and that this is wrong because I don't feel like I'm wrong. I feel like, like all of us, we're, we're children of God and, and, and he ain't make no mistakes. And I don't think he made any mistakes on me. Not one. So, I don't know. I think I'm done. I think I'm, I'm done. And like I said, if you don't want to be around to, <laughs> to listen to me anymore because of my lifestyle, because your beliefs don't, don't, coincide with who I am and what I am and then that's fine that's totally fine 
Okay, I think I'm done. For y'all that stay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know I, I get tons of wonderful comments on on Instagram when I say something or whatever. Uh, there was a um, I want to just shout her out. I'm not gonna shout her name out, but I think she watches my videos and and she wrote me a message on Facebook that kind of prompted me to do this because there are good people in the world. There are people that are not going to judge me and I appreciate y'all with all my heart. You have no idea. Her, her message, basically she said like, she knew that I, that I was an out lesbian and she said that in the past because of her belief, how she was brought up in her beliefs that she has felt uncomfortable around um the LBGT community, which is lesbian, gay, transgender, LGBT, bisexual, um, that she's felt uncomfortable and that she's probably used some words that she shouldn't have used to describe us. And she wanted to apologize. I'm going to go into the Kim Kardashian ugly cry. I'm sorry, y'all. But she wanted to apologize for, for what she had said and what she had done. And, and she had no idea how much that affected me that she would apologize and and though her apology wasn't needed i accepted it on behalf of, of all the lgbt community because it just takes one person to, you know to 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 turn and learn for themselves and see that we're just human it, it just took her you know yeah so thank you if you're watching this thank you so much you have really when i was reading the message you have no idea i was just like this but yeah so thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and that's it all right guys i'm done i'm really done there will not be another damn crying video on this channel there won't there will not but these are not like tears of anger this is just you know y'all know what i'm saying all right i'll talk to you later bye